Hello everyone. If you want to create professional looking reports and presentations and ensure the proper formatting layout and content, then you can design a well-structured sheet in Excel and then save it as PDF as intended. Accountants and financial analysts often use this feature to convert financial statements, balance sheets and income statements into a format that can be easily shared and achieved without worrying about any accidental edits. So this is Jihad Jim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn three methods on how to save one sheet in Excel as PDF. Before going into the methods, let's talk about the dataset bit. Here we have the student ID, their name, their percent of attendance and their GPA in column B to column E. Our target is to create a PDF file by using this sheet. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. So without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first method, we'll be using the Save As option in Excel to save one sheet as PDF. To do that, at first we'll go for the File tab, click on the Save As, go for the Browse option to open Save As dialog box. Here, we'll go for the Save As PDF folder, then we'll go for the file name, and then we'll select the Save As type as we're trying to save it as PDF. So, I'll select the PDF option here, and then click the Save option. Now let's go to the location where we have saved the file, double click on the file and now you will see PDF format has opened on the screen. So that's how we can use save as to save one sheet as PDF file. We can also use the export option to save one sheet as PDF. Let's go for the file tab again and here we will find the export option. Click on it and go for the create PDF or XPS document, click on it and here you will find the create option, click on it again and now you will see that you have got the publish as PDF or XPS dialog box. Here you will go for the save as PDF, select the folder according to your wish, then you will go for the PDF type and go for the publish option. Now you will see that it has automatically opened on the screen. Sometimes if it doesn't open on the screen then you need to manually go for the location like the first method. So that's how we can easily use the export option to save one sheet as PDF. In our third method we'll be using print option to save one sheet as PDF. So we'll go for the file tab and here we'll select the print option and you will find the print option here where you'll go for the printer and you can select any of the values but if you want to get the PDF then you need to convert it into PDF to so select Microsoft print to PDF option then you can change the values here according to your wish and then go for the print option click on the print now you will see save print output as dialog box will open on the screen now you need to manually select the location according to your wish after selecting the proper location, you need to also go for the file name here. You'll write down the file name as save as PDF and then the PDF document has already been selected. Click on the save option. Now you need to manually go for the location here. So let's go for it. So we have got the perfect PDF here in the location. Double click on it. Now you will see that the one Excel sheet has been converted into PDF format. So that's how we can also use the print option. In our last method, we want to save multiple sheets as PDF of our workbook. To do that, we need the help of the developer tab. So we need to enable it. So we'll go for the file tab and here we'll go for the options which will open the Excel options. Go for the customized ribbon and in the customized ribbon main tabs, you'll go for the developer tab, tick on it and click OK. To enable the developer tab. Now go for the developer tab then click on the visual basic or press alt plus f11 in the keyboard to open the visual basic editor. Go for the insert and here you will select the module. We are selecting module because we need to work on every sheet of the workbook. So the module option will go for every sheet manually. 
Now we need to insert the code here as we have already written our code in the notepad. Select the whole code, copy it by using Ctrl plus C and paste it here in Ctrl plus V in the Visual Basic Editor. Let's talk about the code a bit. At first we have named the code as save one sheet PDF. Then we have used our variable as act sheet which will work as the worksheet and then as we are trying to convert multiple sheets as PDF so we need to use the for loop so we'll go for the first for loop which we'll use as the active sheet and then it will go for the act sheet as export fix format as PDF that means the sheet that we are working on correctly it will be chosen first and then it will export that from excel file to PDF file and after that it will go for the multiple sheet and in the next way where the excel file have been saved the pdf format file will be saved in the same pathway same place and the name of the pdf file will be the same name of the worksheet name after that we have our next worksheet which will go by the next option and then we'll end our code so let's go for the run option click on the run and let's see whether it's working correctly or not before going into the location you just need to know that the name of the worksheets are data set save as option export option print option and vba if the code has been correctly run then the pdf format will be saved as these names here so let's go and check whether it's working or not so if you go to the location of our worksheet then you will see the name of the worksheets have been here as the pdf file let's click on any of the pdf files and see whether they're working or not then you'll see you have got the perfect result as the PDF file. So that's it for today. You can follow these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at xnme.com. Thanks for watching our video. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.